Okay, so this is chapter P, section P.2, which is the Cartesian coordinate system. So these are the things you'll learn about. Cartesian plane, absolute value, distance and midpoint formulas, and the equations of circles. Okay, so this is just very much back to the basics. So how we graph, so quad, first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, and fourth quadrant. Sometimes you will see them written with the Roman numerals too. So Q1, Q2, Q3, and Q4. So remember that everything's positive in the first quadrant. In the second quadrant, your x is negative, but your y is positive. In the third quadrant, both x and y are negative. And then in the fourth quadrant, your x is positive, but your y is negative. Okay, absolute value. So you think of absolute value as it's the distance something is from zero. So this is kind of a quick little, if a is positive, so if you have a positive number, the absolute value of that number is just going to be the same as what the number is. If it's negative, it's going to be opposite, and if it's zero, it's just zero. So a couple examples here using the definition of absolute value. So negative 7, how far is negative 7 away from zero? It's 7. Okay, b is a little bit trickier. So we have the absolute value of pi minus 5. So now you need to think, okay, pi we know is approximately 3.14. So if I take pi minus 5, that's going to give me a negative number. So we want the positive value of that negative number. So how I'm going to write that is I want to, we know a negative times a negative turns positive. So I'm going to say negative of pi minus 5, knowing that this number in here is going to be negative. So then that negative on the outside there multiplied by the negative on the inside would turn it positive. So then I could distribute that negative. So I could write this as negative pi plus 5. So that would be, or we, can, we could put an approximation, but it wanted an exact value. Okay? Our next one is the distance formula. So I want to find the distance between two points. So this formula right here helps us um, find the distance between two points. And remember to connect it to that Pythagorean theorem. So you should notice it's very similar to saying a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where this is your distance between your x's, this is your distance between your y's, and this is your hypotenuse. So these two things are very, very closely related, okay? So, and you can imagine, like, if you're on the graph, rather than doing the distance formula, it'd be probably easier just to turn it into a right triangle and use the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, so our example is to find the distance between the points 2, 7, and negative 5, negative 3. So if we use our formula, so this would be my x1, y1 and my x2, y2. So that means if I follow my formula, x2 minus x1 would be negative 5 minus 2 squared, plus y2 is negative 3 minus 7 squared. So this is going to be negative 7 squared, plus negative 10 squared. So that would be 49 plus 100, or the square root of 149. Or we can use our calculator here and approximate that. So square root of 149 is about 12.21. And if you're doing your assignment, make sure you are careful and reading the directions to see what they want you to round it to or if they want you to leave it as an exact answer like that. Okay? Our next thing is the midpoint formula. So the midpoint formula is you're just finding the averages between two points. So this one didn't come with an example, but I'm just going to make one up real quick. So say we have the point 5, 1, and 
negative 2, 7. Okay, and I want to find the midpoint between those two points. So using our formula, um, we would take the x's first. So I'd take 5 plus negative 2 over 2. And then I would take the y's, 1 plus 7 divided by 2. So 5 plus negative 2, this would be 3 halves. And then that would be 8 over 2, which we know is 4. So that would be our midpoint between those two points. Okay, the last thing is the standard form equation of a circle. So this over here, you can see, is our equation. Um, so we need, three, we need to know three things. We need to know H, K, and R. So H and K is the center, and R is the radius. So if you look over here at our example, we have a center of 2, negative 3. So H is 2, K is negative 3, and our radius, R, is 4. So you're literally just taking those numbers and plugging them into the formula. So this would be x minus 2 squared plus y minus negative 3 squared equals 4 squared. So now we can simplify this. One last little step here. We can say x minus 2 squared. Oops. Plus we know if we have minus a negative, that's going to turn into plus. So y plus 3 squared equals 16. Oops. So that right there is our equation of the circle. So that is this section. If there's any questions, let me know.